Good morning and welcome to Stamp and Chat. It's Tuesday. We're now in February. Just check I'm in the right place. And just share this over to my group quickly. Who is joining me this morning? Just sharing that over. Oh, I pressed something wrong then. <laughs> Share. Why is it not sharing? It's trying to create a post. That's bizarre. Facebook, what are you doing? Sorry, guys. I'll have one more go. If not, I will send it over later. It's asking me to create it as a post. It doesn't normally ask that, but it should be over there in my group. A few of you joining me this morning. Welcome if you're joining. Please do say hello. It's always lovely to know who's here. So we are on week two of the floating and fluttering stamp and chat round. And today's card, another pretty simple one, I think. I don't think there's anything too complicated about this. A bit of stamping, a bit of die cutting, and a bit of sticking. Um, nothing, no, no fussy cutting even today, unless, of course, you don't have the dies. Morning, Janet. You've got sunshine. Well, the weather forecast this morning said we're going to have sun, so... When I wrote in my bullet journal, because I always, I usually either do it the night before or I wait until the day because our weather is so changeable and the weather app on my phone just changes constantly. So, but this morning I drew in a little cloud with a little sun to the side of it. So, um, and no minus figures, which was really good. So hopefully, I think we might have a bit of rain this morning, it said, um, and then a bit of sunshine this afternoon. So that would be good. So are you like t-shirt weather over there because if you are I'm very jealous I know I love the warmth I hate being cold so who else is joining there's a few of you on this morning right let's have a look at what we're doing so if you are stamping live with me pull out your card bag number two and you will also need to locate your Rococo Rose, this pink card base as well. And then you will have all your pieces to go. So if you've never joined me for a stamp and chat, um, this is a five week round of cards. It's a kit sent out in the post that includes the stamp set. This round also includes the Seaside Spray ink, which is going to be retiring in May, which is really sad because I do love that blue. Um, and it also includes pre-cut card kits and some of this delicious celebration paper. Now, it's not too late for you to grab yourselves this paper or even this class. Um, and when I say this class, I mean you can still purchase the stamp set and the dies and you can follow along with each video because they get uploaded to YouTube and you can then follow along in your own time to suit you. Who is here? Morning, Jacqueline. How are you this morning? How are you feeling? Janet, you're in T-shirt and cropped jeans. I am jealous. I won't tell you how many layers I've got on. I'm a layers girl. I start off with a vest, thermal vest. When it's really cold, have thermal vest and then I just layer up short sleeve t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt, then a shirt, then a jumper, then my gilet. And then as I get warm throughout the day, I just strip a layer off. Morning, Belle, how are you? I was thinking of you this morning, Belle. I was popping an order through. And I was looking at those ice cream cones. Do I need them? Do I not need them yet? I'm going to tell you, I resisted for now. Um, but I did pop something else in my basket in its place. So more, more tempting goodies. You're good today, Jacqueline. That's good to hear. 
Amber, you're new. You just found my page. Well, welcome and thank you for joining us. Where are you from, Amber? Let us know. Are you local? Are you across the sea? It's always lovely to know where, where you're all from and who's joining and how you found me. So let's get started because I've got some things I want to share with you as always at the end. Um, I've, had, I've had a delivery, guys. I had a delivery yesterday. It wasn't actually scheduled to come until today, but it came early. So I'm really thankful for that. And I had some new products in there. It was actually a gift order from my upline for I redeemed lots of rewards I've been saving up with her and so I had all these goodies come that were were just for me so it was really exciting um so I've got some new things to share with you after but let's get on with this card so if you're joining me to stamp along pull out I'm going to pop these papers to one side because we're going to be chopping into these papers. So I'll be giving you some measurements. You can see we already, we chopped into that one last week. If I just bring in last week's card in case you weren't here or you haven't caught up. This was last week's card. Good news, guys, as well. My ink refill has arrived. So I've re-inked my, my Seaside Spray ink pad. I did that yesterday. So I'm going to try it this morning and see how it goes. If I haven't quite put enough in then I'll re-ink it here on the live and then you can see how I do that. So that will be a bit of an experiment to see whether I put enough in. So, so that was last week's and we had a very pale butterfly last week because my ink pad was running really dry and I've used it such a lot. Amber, you're from Essex. Beautiful card, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so today's card... Rococo Rose base. Now, another warning. Rococo Rose is going. It's another in colour that's due to retire. Another colour I'm wondering how I'm going to live without. Because for me, this is a Suttles pink. You know I'm a Suttles girl. This, this is quite bold for me, but I like my Suttles colours and... For the likes of Melamambo and Magenta Madness, they're really too hot pink for me in, in, in large doses. So I do love that this Rococo Rose is, is kind of a muted pink for me. And I have my fingers crossed that the next lot of in colours are going to be all subtles. So let's just wait and see. The way time is flying by, we're going to be having a new catalogue before we even think about it. Okay, so grab your bag. Oh, I just drops that on the floor. Alf is over on his bed with me today. You've got a nice posh bag. I'm just, I keep recycling this bag. And pull out all of your bits and pieces. So, you'll have two pieces of Whisper White, one slightly smaller than the other. The larger one is your insert, so I'm going to put that to one side with my card base. The smaller one is your front layer. You've got a lovely, tasteful label die cut piece. And I thought today we might do a bit of um, blending with my brush because I'm loving playing with that at the moment. I was inking it yesterday in Balmy Blue, um, but I've given it what I think is a good clean out. So it should be good to go with Seaside Spray. So you've got that layer there. You have got a couple of die cut butterflies. I've already cut for you. A little label for your greeting. A skinny strip of soft sea foam. And a super skinny strip of Rococo Rose. You will also have in your kit your ribbon as well. So you'll need to pull that out. So I'm going to move this out of the way and you can watch me step by step. So let's start with a bit of stamping. Let's bring in my foam mat. You can see I've been doing lots of blending using this, this scrap of grid paper. And I'm loving how, how it looks. It just, it's very like mottled. And to start with, we're going to mount up this large sorry we've got a glare here this large butterfly multi butterfly stamp and you'll need your seaside spray ink and i'm excited to see just how well 
I inked this one up. I'm, I'm looking at this now by the side of me. If you don't have the blending brush, of course you had your little skinny wedge of um, sponge in there, so you can use that in its place. So let's open this up. It does look, can you see? You might be able to see where I've re-inked. It's slightly paler around the edge. So let's, let's see. So this is a two-step stamp, two steps, two-step stamp set. Gosh, say that one after a glass of wine on a Friday night. And we're just going to ink it up. So I'm hoping this is going to be a lot darker. It is. Can we see the difference on the, the outside there? And then what we're going to do for this large butterfly is pull out this second layer for this stamp. So this is the part of the two step. This is the first step and then inking up this and adding it over the top. That's what makes it two step. So I'm going to ink up, hold that before I get ink all over my fingers and I'm going to stamp it off because I want this to be second generation. I just want a soft colour behind and hover over as much as I can without having my head in the camera. I think that's much better. Let me just bring this one back in. Reinking makes such a difference. And then I thought for this butterfly, even though I didn't do this on my original card, this funny looking stamp in your set goes with this butterfly here and it just adds a little bit of something different to it. Now, as I was saying last week, I don't know whether I stamped an example. When you've got a two-step stamp, it's really good to have more than one, one shade of a colour. So in an ideal world, I would probably team this with Knight of Navy and I would do the two steps in, in the different shades so that you can really tell the difference. But for the sake of the class in the post and only including the one ink pad, I say this all the time, but I want to be able to, I want you to be able to create your cards just using the products that I've sent you. So I'm going to stamp that one off gently. Oh, I'm not going to be able to see. Can't really see where that's going. Just adds a little bit in there maybe if i'd have done it full strength it would have looked a lot different but if that was in a darker color a knight of navy that would have looked totally different okay what else do we need to stamp i think that's it i think that's it this is a much better color now i've re-inked it looks more like the seaside spray that it should be right let's pull that mat out for a moment and bring in the dies. So if you've not caught up with me before last week, so these are the dies that go with this bundle. If I show you in the mini catalog. So this is a mini catalog product, it's not in the annual. So it's around for quite a while. Um, these are the stamps I'm using and then you can see the dies are down here. And if you buy them both together as a bundle, um, using this code here, then you save yourself 10%, which is really great. And if you add on, so that's £44, if you just add on maybe a Tombow or some dimensionals, you could earn yourself maybe this set of pattern paper, paper, which is a level one celebration set. And you'll find all of those in this catalogue here. So that, that's that one there. I'm always showing you this page because I just love it. I love the colours in there. So, but I'm going to talk a bit about that after. So, as mentioned previously as well, I love that this die set has two of this die. So, if you're creating multiple projects or you've once you've inked up a stamp, I think it's worthy of stamping it several times and then um, cutting them out and having them sitting in your little pot ready to create that really quick card. You know, when you've already stamped and die cut pieces and they're in that in that pot just waiting for an occasion where you quickly need to make a card. So I always recommend when you're when you're doing when you're making one card, 
make two of it at least or die cut while you've inked everything and you've got your dies out die cut cut a few so that you've always got that backup um for for when that's that day comes when you've forgotten that birthday so that's the die that goes with that now is this skinny enough to go through yeah so i'm using my mini boss and we're just going to line that one in let's grab a bit of washi tape you love seaside spray as well bell yeah i know the re-inking has really made a difference it's it's brought back its true color i'm going to be honest i mean this is seaside spray cardstock and this doesn't really look like it's the same colour. So probably could do with a bit more ink in it. If you want me to. If you've never seen how to re-ink an ink pad before. Let me know in the comments. And I don't mind giving it another bit of ink. And just showing you how I do it. It's super easy. Right, I'm going to run that through. And the tip with this is not to have all of your plates butted together like that is to have them slightly staggered and then it will pick up a bit better as you pop it through your machine through the rollers the rollers will grab it better excuse my back to you okay i just love how that all comes out in one piece bit there left over and of course we're going to have some pieces Just careful I don't want to tear where the wash has been <clears throat> gonna have some pieces left over here a little butterfly at least and then while I've got this out you guys would have had some die cut leaves but I'm going to use these. Now, what I will say is if you've got a green that coordinates with this, maybe you want to clean off this stamp and re-ink it in your green and then cut your leaves, have stamped leaves rather than die cut. It's totally your choice. But I've popped these in just so that you've got something to finish your card with. I've just die cut these quickly. Very sniffly today. Got that damp weather, haven't we? We have here in the UK. Right. Still got one left in there. Let's just get my take your pick. So also, if you didn't know, on our dies, we have these little dots, little holes. They're for you to push, push them out any pieces that get stuck in there. The other thing to remember as well is we have the individual dies to cut the butterfly. So that's the same as that one. So when you've stamped up this, if you don't want to cut the whole of them out, you could just cut that one on its own. Brilliant set, absolutely brilliant set. So we've got some leaves, we've got some butterflies. Oh, I know what we need because it's hiding. We need this stamp here. So let's bring our foam mat back in. What are we all up to today? Anybody having to work from home? Belle, you're probably got a bit of homeschool going on, haven't you? Right, seaside spray back in as I mentioned before be careful when you're mounting this stamp because it does move because it's not a solid stamp the center is cut out of it if you're not careful when you'll mount it it will be crooked which maybe could be the look that you want is that going to go that way and I'm just going to fussy cut around this one there is a die that goes with it This one here cuts that one out, but I'm just going to trim around it in a moment. What else? 
else do we need to do? We'll do the we'll do the little greeting after. Okay, let's just trim out these two butterflies that we need. So you need to cut around carefully just to give a smooth edge. If you just snip it off, you'll get a, a sharp edge. So you need to still just follow around the line. Can you see you get here? If you're not careful, mind you, you might, you might not be as fussy as me. <laughs> you all know by now how particular I am. Can't help it, try not to be. It's just in me to be particular and fussy. And let's snip around this one. Larger scissors are always good for going along straight edges because obviously once you open and close your scissors, you're, you're likely to get a bit of a jagged cut. Belle, Liv has an educational assessment for her new placement this afternoon. Ah, you're creating PDFs. Oh, that's exciting. That's something I need to take on board is doing PDFs. I've started doing a lot of lives and videos to go with my classes in the post. Um, but I'm not actually at the point of PDFs just yet. It's another added time value, but I think it would be, would be very welcomed. Okay, what else do we need to do? I think that's it. Apart from the greeting, which is going to be going on on one of these little many messages. So let's move inks out of the way and bring in our pieces. So from your pattern paper, let's just bring in that base as well. You need to decide which you want to use. You can use any of them. Obviously we've got five cards coming and we are only on week two and we've used that one. Don't have the other cards in front of me, but they're all going to coordinate, so I don't think it would really matter, but I'm going to stick with this one that I used on my original. And you need to cut a piece that is two inches by three and three quarters. So I recommend you just cut it two to start with, because then you've still got a good four inch chunk left. Right, let's just trim that two, three and three quarters. See, we've still got a lot left that we can use on something else. Now you've got a good template you'll share. Oh, that sounds very interesting. I have done, have done like PDFs before when, when we were doing a collab before we did some PDFs, but they are, they can be quite time consuming. Okay, so this layer, I need to pull together. Let's just piece it all where we want it. So we're gonna have this nice patterned piece up here. We're gonna be layering the soft sea foam under, and then underneath that, we're gonna be having this one. So if we start by just layering these two together first, wonder how my Tombow is going to be behaving today. Hopefully no volcano moments. So I've got this, I've layered this just so. Am I close enough in, guys, for you to see what I'm doing? I've got really edgy now about trying to zoom in during my live because I am... Um, Thursday, no, Friday and Saturday, I did four lives um, for a class. And each time I tried to zoom in, it kept flipping my camera around and revealing my ceiling. And I don't know why. I was not touching that button. You know the camera button where you flip the screen? Honestly, I was not touching that. It was playing games with me. 
So this one is going to go up here, but we need to slide this one underneath like this. And then we've also got to attach some ribbon before this goes down onto the base. So I think I am just going to start by popping a bit of Tombow. Oop, that was a bit more than I wanted. Got a scrap. Let's just move that bit up there. I haven't stuck the bottom bit because I'm gonna slide underneath that lovely frame. So let's have that just one box from the top like that. So the bottom bit isn't stuck down, but I can do that in a moment. Just checking if that's straight. It's so hard to see. And let's just check if we've got any overhang. Nothing really to write home about. And then I think we'll slide this one in. So a bit of Tombow on this label. We think the view's good. Okay. I'm not 100% sure about the quality. Let's just pop this one in as I've glued it. Try and talk and do two things in one go. And have that one hanging just underneath. This one's going to stand out a bit better. I think that's straight. Yeah, when I was watching back the lives I did on Friday and Saturday, the quality didn't seem that good and I think I'm uploading, I've got my settings on my phone to be, you know, at the best speed or whatever. I'm not very technical, um, but it just seemed a bit, bit fuzzy. And then what I'm going to do, let's bring that piece back in. So on this little scrap, just a bit of Tombow under there and I'm just going to pop a bit under there and a bit under there just to stick that down going to be wrapping our ribbon around there anyway. So take your ribbon, you want a piece just a bit wider than the width of your card. Just snip it off and I find the best way to attach ribbon is with our glue dots. You can use Tombow um, but it just takes a little bit longer to dry and hold in place. So you can push your ribbon on and hope that the glue dot comes off with it. Or as I've done previously, you will have seen, you can add the glue dot to the back of your card, whichever you prefer. We've all got our ways, so it doesn't, doesn't like to stick directly. And then we're just gonna pop that around that layer. This just adds a bit of, a nice bit of different texture to our card. And even though this is, this is Knight of Navy, um, that's this colour in here as well. So it all blends in nicely. Now, because we've already, because we've wrapped this layer around, this can go down onto our card. And it's at this point where I'm thinking, do I raise this layer on dimensionals? But I'm thinking because we've got lots of butterflies we're layering, I'm gonna pop it down flat. So let's get this layer on. And then we've got no pieces to lose. I'm wondering what's going next. I'm gonna pop just a little bit of Tombow on there. That bit will take a bit longer to dry. So a nice even border around your card. She says, it's got Tombow on me. And then just press it down like that. Now for the butterflies, move you that side because I need to work over this side. If you didn't buy the die set that goes with this, just saw a little a sharp edge. If you didn't buy the die set, they're really easy to fussy cut. 
once you've stamped this, they're really easy just to fussy cut around, honestly. And what you can do is to layer up your butterfly like this, take a piece of scrap white, stamp one out, cut it out and then just draw around there and then you can cut out, as long as you don't mind fussy cutting, um, some butterflies to layer behind. And then all we're going to do is just layer these up, a little bit of Tombow in the middle and we're just going to stack them like this. Tombo is not playing ball today. So just layer them up. So they all sit neatly on top of each other. Squeeze it in the middle. And then kind of fan them out. Just curl those top edges a little bit. And just fan them out so it looks like this butterfly is, is going to take off. This one here, we'll just give a little crease on the wing so that he doesn't look too flat when we stick it down. Okay. Oh, this next layer. So your Tasteful Labels die cut piece. If you've got your sponge wedge, you can just add a bit of ink onto here. I'm going to use my blending brush and just add a bit of gradual colour. Now, I didn't do this on my original card, but I'm just loving using these at the moment. Now, I'm pretty sure I gave that a good clean last night when I finished over here. So we're just going to pick up a bit of ink, circular motion on there, and then start off of my die cut onto my grid and then just work gradually in a circular motion around the edge. So a bit of ink and then start off. I can tell that I've re-inked this. And then start off and then go on to my layer. Now I've done this, I'm not sure I'm loving it. I think it'll be okay. A bit down there. I hope this isn't rocking. Rocking the table. And if I hold that, I'll just do this as well. Can you see the difference it makes? So I love that. It's going to make this layer pop a little bit. I may not prefer it. We shall see. Okay, mini dimensionals under here. I'm getting to the end of this sheet. And Belle, before you ask, I have not yet succumbed to the foam sheets. I just love these minis. Start a new sheet as well. Oops, I have one there. And one there. So, and the backs, they do come off really easy. It does help if you've got a bit of nail growth. Actually, before we lay that one on, we need to just add on this little skinny strip. And I'm going to just trim mine roughly to that length. Snip off the end and we're going to stick that on there. Now, where are my glue dots? How wide are these? I think we'll get away with a glue dot at either end. just to hold this down because it's ribbon. Like I've said, you could just add this layer with Tombow. Someone's getting up and having a shake and a move. You can hear him, I know you can hear him trotting about. That looks really crooked. Didn't cut that very well, did I? Never mind. I'm embracing it, Belle. I'm embracing the wonk. And then this layer, I'm just going to pop down over this side of my card. I'm just thinking how low, because I'm going to have some leaves coming down here. Round about there. I 
Didn't bring a drink over. I have had coffee this morning. I've actually had my breakfast as well today. Um, but I think when I, because I'm chattering away, I get a really dry throat, really dry mouth from gassing too much. And that's because nobody else has got um, the opportunity to, to butt in and give me a breather. Hello, Louise. How are you? Nice of you to join us. So now that layer's down, I'm quite liking it. When we're finished, I'll bring the other one in and we can have a bit of a comparison. Next, you have got a little die cut piece. This is from the many messages, which I'm using for this whole series because I just love it. It's so usable. On my original, I used a thank you, but today I've pulled out this one, just a card to say hello because otherwise I'm just going to end up with loads of thank you cards. And I think now is the time we need to be mailing out cards to people just to let them know that we're there for them. So let's bring our mat back in. So you guys, as I said, you've already got this die cut. If you've got a nice photopolymer stamp, you'll be able to stamp that straight in and line it up. But because I've got the red rubber and because I've cut these really badly from my one big stamp, it's hard to see where I'm going with it. So I'm going to just do another. So I've got a memento black. So I did state that's the only other ink we're going to be using with this. But I know most of you have memento black and I'm going to be careful because I've not trimmed around the edge of this one. Do you love that little one? Just a card to say hello. Let's locate my die. So this is how, I'm gonna show you how I'm storing all my dies at the moment. We're a bit close in and it's not ideal. These, these are the Art Bin um, magnetic die storage sheets and they've got a lovely case that they come in, but I just find it, it's not easy enough for me to access and I'm trying to find a system like this that has sheets but also has like little pockets for these to sit in because I'm worried that dies are going to slide off even though they're on there they're not going anywhere but I'm worried I'm going to lose dies so I am looking oh it's at the back I can see it I don't have a sheet for it yet so that's the messages die and it's getting really heavy this box and I've got more dies coming more new dies that came yesterday so I love, love this die set. You know I do, because I'm always harping on about it. The, the die and the stamps together. So I'm going to lay that one on there. It's got a little bit bent. Can you see that? A little bit bent with my plates. But it's still fine. And you can, if you're very gentle, just manipulate these a little bit. I'm not suggesting you do that. But I do it when nobody's looking. Don't tell anybody. I'm not bending it really hard. I'm just flattening it out a little. I'm just going to pop that in my stamping cut and emboss machine and just run. I'm not running the whole thing through. I'm just running. I literally just ran the top bit in and then ran it back out again rather than going over all of those edges. Out you come. Just a card to say hello. As I've said, we need to be doing more of that. I think I'm going to set a challenge on my page to ask everyone to send even just one card a week. It doesn't cost a lot. And I know if you're a card, a card maker, you've always got lots of spare cards in your stash. And just think of the joy it would bring someone who's not expecting a card. I'm just going to pop that one over slightly to the right hand side. And then add in, I've got to get rid of this ink, otherwise I'm going to be dropping something in it. A bit of Tombow, just along the centre. Because I want these butterflies to look 3D. And we'll pop that one over on this side. And 
and just have it flying. Should let it stick first. And then this little butterfly, just Tombow, on the corner. Let's just have you there, like that. It's just hanging onto the edge of this label. And then your little die cut pieces, if, you've, if you're using the ones that are in your kit, or as I've said, you could ink up this stamp in a green and then use these nice stamped images. Now, what shall we have? I normally use two like that. Let's go with that. So just a bit of Tombow on that bottom petal, petal, leaf. Leaves don't have petals, do they? And a teeny weeny bit under there, like that. And I think we're done. I don't know who Alfie thinks I'm talking to. Bless him. There we go. Be good if I got it in shot, wouldn't it? So we've got quite a 3D card. I still haven't designed that box. I was talking on Friday about these cards. You know I love to do things that are 3D. And then when you go and put it in an envelope, and then by the time it's been through the machines at the sorting office, it gets there and it's just like flat as a pancake. So I think I'm going to have to start designing some box boxes that, like a box envelope, just to protect some of these special cards. So there's my original. It's not a lot different. I don't know which I prefer. Whether I prefer the, the blended layer or not. But anyway, there we go. How are we doing for time? We're doing well on time as well. I did say this was quite a simple one. There's nothing too, too difficult in any of these cards. Thank you, Belle. What have I got to share with you today? So let's have a look. Oh, I know what I've got to share. So I'm talking about celebration because obviously we are now, we're in February. I don't quite know how. I don't know where January went, but we have reached February already which means we only have one month left of this fabulous promotion and there are so many lovely free gifts in here so last week I showed you what did I show you my picnic basket which I have designed into a class I'm not sure if I've put the details up on my Facebook page yet but I will do that um and that was, I designed mine using the Berry Blessings, which is this here. Uh, but my class is going to include the Sweet Strawberry Bundle, which is going to be really fun. Uh, I also shared with you lately, also I did, um, I've popped on YouTube. I used this beautiful stamp set, which is here, the Touch of Ink. And I created some cards using our blends. So you might have seen these already. And I just had so much fun with the different ways of using this stamp set, um, like with our blends pens, and then just using the, the two-step part of the stamps to, to add the colour for quick cards. So that's another really good celebration set. That is a £90 set, so it's, it's what we call a level two. So you have to spend £90 to get that one free, but it's such a big stamp set. Um, there's loads of stamps in there, and the images are, are, are smaller on the, the front cover. In my order yesterday, I had this gorgeous ombre paper arrive. So you can find this. Let me just pull it out of the cellophane. locate it here it is so this is the Oso ombre so this is free with a 45 pounds order 
Look at the colours. That brings me so much joy. So you've got, let's have a look. Bermuda, Ble Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Granny Apple Green and Rococo Rose. Now I might struggle with the Granny Apple Green, but you've got this like dotty spotty layer and then you've got this lovely ombre one here. So in the different colours. And then when you turn it over, see I do actually love, I love Bermuda Bay. The granny apple green, it's not too bright actually. It's not too bright. Oh, aren't they delicious? And all of these, there's 48 sheets in here, could be yours free with a qualifying order. So have a think, maybe you're after the floating and fluttering set that I've used this morning. Um, and as I said, if you add that one on, so that's here on page 61 in the catalogue. If you choose the bundle and then just add on some dimensionals or something, you could maybe choose these papers for free. What else have I got to share with you? Oh, another project. This was a bit of a fail. This is, this is like my first, first attempt at this project. And it wasn't until I finished it, I, I did finish it in the evening, until I looked at it after and then realised I'd stuck something really crooked and it really bothers me. Um, but again, it's using the floating and fluttering, but also the Always In My Heart stamp set, which is in the mini book as well. Um, and I've quite often, I showed you some cards last week, and I quite often team these both together. I'm just finding it in the catalogue. It's right at the very beginning. So it's this one here. So I use that a lot. It's not just a Valentine's, it's not just a lovey stamp set. Um, it's a good all-round, good all-round one for, for females anyway. So I had a little play and these are the Hydrangea Hill, I want to say. Let me find that one. I didn't put markers on my pages today. Let's look in the back of the book because in the back of the book we have a lovely guide to tell us where everything is. Page 19. Look at that, lovely colours. So I've used the Hydrangea Hill designer paper. I've got a bit here if you'd like to see it. Oh gosh, you, I've just dragged in my pieces I was playing with last night. They're just over here to my left. I've got loads of pieces that I've been cutting out and they're just on my stand right next to me. Guys, look, we're quite close in. Let me move that one back out of the way. Move these inks. I mean, I'll be chopping into these, you can see. Aren't they gorgeous? Beautiful colors in here. Really lovely. And then if I just turn those over, got quite a different side to them so quite different quite you know more bold prints more color block so really beautiful pop those out of the way and bring my little project back in so so as I said that uses the two stamps there this is the bumblebee gingham ribbon and if we open it up it reveals a little pocket to pop a treat in. I put some biscuits in there and a tea bag. And then a little pocket here that you could pop a gift card in or some money. So I really enjoyed playing with this and this is the bit I stuck on crooked. I don't know how I managed it. And now I'm looking at it, it's awful. The thing is it looks straight from both of these sides but the bottom bit just looks it's on the wonk, Belle. It's on the wonk. So I might have to gift this to someone so that they can have a play and try recreating it. So I will be doing some kind of class with this. So I'm excited to share that as well. It's really simple to put together. Um, but I wanted to, I've been itching to use these papers and I thought, what can I do with it? And then I thought, oh, I'll just create this little gift box. My biscuits are out of date as well. I bought a whole box of them. Um, 
as a demonstrator, I'm always checking out the biscuit aisle and the sweet aisle for things to package and, you know, nice chocolate bars and nice packets of sweets that I can create boxes for. And I bought loads of these biscuits and guys, they went out of date. I mean, they're July 2020. They're a few months out of date. The birds might enjoy them. So that was my little box. So the other thing, which you just saw a sneak peek that I've been playing with, had two die sets arrive yesterday. This is the first. Oh my goodness. Just when you think you do not need any more flowers. This is the pierced blooms. I'm going to show you some of them. Guys, they're so pretty. So many combinations. So I was playing with this last night and made a couple of projects with it. So you've got like lots of centres for flowers. Oh, I'm in love. Didn't think I could be in love with so many products at one time, but such a huge set. Now this is actually designed, where's my celebration book? To coordinate with the paper blooms paper that I'm using on this stamp and chat round. It does say here it coordinates with the pretty perennials bundle, but that's actually a misprint. So it 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 coordinates with the in bloom stamps and dies. Okay, so this will cut out some of the shapes in this paper, which is fabulous. One last thing, another die set. If you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, please do head over and take a look because I'm always posting stuff on there. I've been making a lot of cards using the Darling Donkeys recently. I've had a few little young men to create cards for. And I didn't have, I've been waiting for these to arrive. Oh my goodness. So much fun. I cannot wait to use these. Now the numbers are quite smaller in here to the, the old dies that I've got that are retired. But I'm still going to have fun with these. It's going to be brilliant. All of the words that can be created with those. So that's it. The final thing I just want to share with you. I'm waiting for more product to arrive. I've got a couple of orders coming at the end of this week. But if you have followed me for my six cards in the class post previously, let's pull this out. Um, normally, I would be posting out at the beginning of the month, but I'm still waiting for my stamps and my dies to come for this set. So it's from the Handsomely Suited which is this one, the well suited, but the handsomely suited stamp set. And I'm waiting for my stamps and dies to come so that I can design cards, cut kits, and get them out in the post to you guys, those of you that are booked. There is still time if you want to book for this class. It's 12 pounds posted and you get six card kits, but they're all going to be around this suite this month. Um, so as you can see, you're gonna get lots of die cut pieces. You will get some of this DSP as well. But I'm gonna need some foam adhesive sheets. Am I gonna need those sheets for those alphabet dies? Might have to cave in. So these are the papers. So my papers have all arrived. I just need the stamps on the dies. As sad as it is, that's one of my favorites. I've got two of those. So I'm really excited about this class. So booking is still open. I've got a few packs of this paper, so I've got enough to take some more people. And obviously you will get all your die cuts to create your cards. What a fabulous set of masculine papers. Let's just turn them over. Gonna be having some groovy shirts going on with these, with the paisley. brilliant a brilliant set so if you're not great at creating man cards like me um i find it so easy to create pretty cards and feminine cards but the man ones are always a bit of a struggle 
So I'm looking, really looking forward to designing this class. Um, I've got everything sketched out. I just need, as I've said, to actually get them projects made up and then they will be coming out in the post to those of you that have booked. So I will leave booking open for this until, what day are we today? Tuesday, until Friday. Um, and I'm hoping that I will have some product arriving by then. So let's bring back in the first two cards from this round and the stamps. And I think it's time to bid farewell. I've been on here nearly for nearly an hour. I'm sure you've all got to get on with your day as well. So thank you so much for joining me. Please do head over, um, have a look at my page, see what classes I've got coming. Head over to YouTube. There's, you know, I've uploaded a few new videos over to there as well. And I've actually now reached 100 subscribers. Woohoo! So it means I was able to change my name. So I'm now the Simply Pretty Studio. So if, you, if you're searching for me before, you would have had to have found me under my name. Um, but now it's under Simply Pretty Studio. So I would love to have some new subscribers. Um, and with that a note, I will say goodbye for now and enjoy the rest of your day. Take care, everybody. Stay safe and I will be back with you very soon. Bye for now.